Hey everybody, this is Ronald Reagan. A couple <laughs> things about life. Uh, this is gonna be confusing coming up in the next, like, <laughs> however long I decide to go for it, or however long this is, because Dog of Dracula 2 <laughs> Cyber Mono Guitari is what I'm playing, if you couldn't fucking read. But anyway, I played this game because I saw it, and immediately was like, well, that's probably awful. And then I read the description, I believe it's their description of it, I'm just gonna read it to you, it's not that long, it's just... You can skip, like, 30 seconds or whatever if you don't want to hear it. Dog of Dracula 2 is the conclusion of the Groomer Duology, a two-part visual novel odyssey examining the fragility of both the human and canine conditions. You are Sid Sin Shinjuku, hard-boiled groomer of the undead and melancholic otaku. Hmm. In the year 1990X, and with the help of your barbecue sauce fiending partner, the Dog of Dracula, you end the sauce uh, the sauce drought, a war on condiments waged by a seriously rude ghoul, and brought to an end to the worldwide misery. Note, the entire time, I don't know what this is, the audio behind this is. Uh, this is just on the main menu, so I don't know what that is. Anyway, a little bit more. But in Nuevo Tokyo in the year 2000, everything has gone to cyber hell. Technology has advanced. Sauce abuse is the norm. The undead don't want your grooming. The corporations control a perverse information superhighway known as the Cyberbon, and everyone's being forced to plug in. It's once again up to you to say words and do things. It's once again up to you to say words and do things. Yes, I read that right. I even made sure I had to read that one again. Duh, playing part one is not necessary. It's even worse than this. It, however, can be found at the website, which I found this on Game Jolt. So I'm not sure what the website was. I didn't see a website on there. I, that might just be me being bad. But in the end, I'm playing this right now. Plug in. Oh. Did they know this game exists? That they made this game? They probably should be sad that they made this game. Oh, good news. I won my vest for the first time. Oh, the story of all those otakus who fight against injustice and corruption every day of their lives. I'm gonna hate this game. Years ago, we defeated the Nascar of his ban on condiments that devastated the world, but life only got worse. Well, I'm glad I have a computer mouse also still for this anyway. That's great. Cyber cognition is compulsory. The cyber con, an endless brawl of computed techno trash, has over most of humanity. I'm gonna let you read. I'll read too. You know, you can read. I trust you. Data slavery. I'll just make witty inputs like I'm a good person. Explode. But with periods in between every letter. <coughs> oh god. I'm already hearing my voice. Because I talk too good. I've got a complex that's falling apart. Maybe that's why I'm drawn to joints like this. I can relate. Ha! Huh. He must be falling apart based on... That conclusion leads statement. Desolation has come inside in this info age, and I guess that's why the news heads call it pre post apocalypse. Pre post apocalypse. Good. My favorite type of that. Also. Yeah. Never mind. This is going to be a point and click game, isn't it? This is totally going to. Yep. Yeah, it's totally that. I didn't even know. Uh. <laughs> an old sauce den. Abandoned after the decriminalization lost somewhere between the urban decay and the dire straits of Dead Zone, Nuevo Tokyo. The ketchup splatter patterns camouflaging the cracks in the walls like to ketchup splatter patterns that I don't see. And Woo! Of her. There's a girl. Prissy. Yeah. What are we gonna name our daughter? Let's name her. Pr prissy. That sounds not like anything that could be bad. She's. Oh, that's me. That's me. Oh well, yeah, have to be quiet. There's people sleeping in this house. Shit. Okay, I might have to be a little bit more quiet, but I'll still be reacting into the unfortunate ways that I have been ever. Also, is that like tail exhaust exploding into a guy's face right there? That's what I'm seeing. Or like, I don't even know. I don't even don't care. What are we doing, this creep joint dog? Oh god, we have Slingo. Oh! <laughs> oh god, nope. 
Nope. No. Nope. Shit, I don't know. You're up. You take this one. Eh? I've been off the stuff for months, man. It's all you. This is my permanent address. I'll over sauce here with a vamp dog in my lap. Eh. Is that the type of drug there is now? Is condiments? Some messed up Mexican in Nuevo Tokyo that has a cyber dog vampire Dracula killer slayer. Oh my god. This game hurts. Okay. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you about the thing that was throughout today, but I forgot to because I got distracted with the embedding storyline. God, there's so much reading to do. I'm gonna talk. Oh, you can read this and you can read this. I don't care. A heavy knock on the doorbells and the walls. And I don't even know if there's anything to do. There's not anything to do, I bet you. This is literally just a point and, like, click the next button game. <sighs> Ooh. I've been blaring Durstep. Durst step. Durst step for six hours straight, trying to shake the feeling of existential dread from my skull. What is Durst step? I have to know. I've got I've got to. Ooh Man. They're saying it's a loon asshole. Turn the tunes down. <laughs> no. Oh, it's about to run human contact, and I get along as well as internal monologue and soy sauce. And they don't get along well. Oh my god. And I don't get along as well as internal monologue and soy sauce. And they don't get along well. Shit. <laughs> this game, I don't even... You know who you're messing with. I've been cooped up for years playing first person fraggers and flipping manga pages. Oh my god! This is poison! I'm a homicidal otaku weapon. Don't test me, Baka. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, please no. Oh, another knock and down goes Hatsune Miku. Oh, that is a perfect marriage of accuracy and posability. Left crumple on the floor like... Pocky crumbs. God damn it. <sighs> oh, I'm glad he talks. I didn't think I, like, registered that he was talking last time. Stop. What's happening? Stop. What is this? What is this? Oh my gosh. What's th with the music? Oh my god. <laughs> With the shrill wimp, I pull up and there are the guys testing my apparatus. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't... Why? This isn't a game. I thought this was a game. I stared dejectedly at the hamstrung remains of my dear Hatsune and recall something Carl once told me. One man's plastic is another man's sweetheart. Ain't that the truth? A hushed cry escapes my lips, and it's not long before some eye water joins the getaway. Stop. Oh my god, I can't do one more. My knuckles are scraped and dripping crimson like I tried... Like I'd tried to get the marble out of a... Oh, never mind. My bad. Reading. Huh. Such frivolous things. My knuckles are scraped and dripping crimson trying to make marble out of stuff. Fuck. This is... I don't need to do anything. I can just scroll through this talking that's not a game at all and just be like, I showed you this, and that is my gift to the world. I'll tell you about the thing that happened today some other time. Don't let me forget about it. Don't let me forget about it. Yeah. Poor sap shambling around the cyber streets. Oh, when all a ghoul's got to do to tickle their pleasure center is hit up the dark side of the cyberband through sauce proxies. 
hey guys well that's all I've got for living today I'll see you on the next video which I don't I'm gonna keep going because I feel like I should but I don't know why and I'm gonna do this and it's gonna be good and stuff and yeah and this is the first episode oh I'm sorry I'm so sorry guys like subscribe unsubscribe or probably subscribe again if you unsubscribe but just keep watching this it probably gets better I hope or worse uh.